Hello everybody, welcome to a quite rainy, um, partly sunny, quite windy, um, classic British summertime, Bridlington Seafront. Um, just going to have a chat with you today about the capture clip that I've been using since sort of May time. Um, had the sort of peak design style clips for oh, God, a few years now, and although they're okay, I was having problems with them either sort of not going in properly or you'd sort of drop them in, they come loose, or you sort of, you'd struggle to sort of get them in, they'd sort of lock part way. Just little quirks and bits and bobs, and it was stuck with knobs, especially if I had a good long hike. Last thing I want is like faffing around with the clip all the time. Uh, so I came across the PGY Tech Beetle, looked into it, a few people sort of gave us some quite good reviews, and I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And the first real test for it was the Wanderer at Bowfell, um, back at the start of May. And it performed amazingly. Um, a little bit tight being brand new, but after sort of days hiking, I found it so much easier to use and a lot more reliable. I mean, I took the EM1 Mark I at Bowfell, I had that on a separate capture clip, and that, every few steps, I was having to tighten it down because the camera was trying to release itself. Real problematic, but the Beetle performed faultlessly. So a bit of a chat, I've got one to actually unbox, I've actually bought another one, and we'll stress, none of this is sort of provided by PGY Tech, this is also bought with my own money. I just thought I'd do a bit of a review on it because I was that impressed with it. Uh, so yeah, there'll be a few shots from sort of the beaches we're wandering as well. Um, but the idea was, of, well, before the heavens opened anyway, I'll do a little bit of, a few little demos of it, uh, showing you what it's about, but I'll actually do a separate unboxing bit uh, we'll get back to the van, I think, that'll be a better idea for that. But give you some idea of, sort of what I feel, yeah, I feel about it and what my findings are compared to the, uh, the other sort of capture clips that I was using. Yeah, so as I've said, I was having problems with the, uh, the Peak Design style ones. Now, I, I will admit, they're not genuine Peak Designs. Uh, Mazda just couldn't really warrant the cost that they were actually asking um, for what the clones are exactly the same. Um, I actually used one of the genuine sort of Peak Designs and I actually found that worse than the copy that I got. So yeah, that is sort of one of the things that I did take into consideration. Um, and what I will do, just bear with me, is just give you a quick wipe angle. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah, so I had those capture clips. I've had a few of them over the years. Sort of, and there's two things that really sort of I found were really awkward with it. One was the fact that you had to sort of screw them down, um, which you think ah, it's not too much of a problem. But I found, especially if you're on sort of a rucksack, once you screw that down, Especially if the rucksack's got some give in it, it'd either sort of completely compress it, which is what it's done to my uh, lower pro rucksack. So the bit where it was, that's completely compressed now. There's no way of getting it back. Um, or you put it on, it'll slightly compress down and start to slide. So you'd have to re tighten it. Um, the other thing that I found with it, which was a problem right away from the off, it never really improved, was you drop your camera in. So normally so you drop it down into it, you hear it click, you think, ah, yep, got it. But it's not quite grabbed it. I've had it before where I've actually sort of knocked the camera, it's actually popped part there. It's like a little bit worrying. And it's the sort of thing you sort of, you're constantly adjusting the tension on it uh, with the version two. So the version three, they sort of didn't have the tension on it, but still had the same problems. Also had a problem where you sort of drop it in and it wouldn't quite go in square and it'd just lock. And that was a bit of a pain as well. Um, the PGY Tech Beetle uses a different system. Um, with the P Design one, you've actually got like a pin at the top. That's when you drop a, the clip in, it sort of drops in to a little sort of detent on the the clip sort of shoe that sits on the camera. Um, the Beetle doesn't have that. I mean, I'll sort of do a quick sort of zoom over it now, but it's actually got a separate sort of piece down at the bottom of the uh, the clip that the base actually slides down, locks into place. Now, if you want that to lock over, you've actually got a little sort of twist lock, which stops the the, sort of the release actually actuating at all, so you can't accidentally knock it or anything like that. Really quite a handy thing. Um, so you've got a lot more control over what the camera's doing, and it just feels a lot more secure. 
the attachment system's better as well. Um, you can actually adjust it for the width of whatever belt you've got it going on to. And once it sort of snaps lock, snap locks into place, that's in place, it won't go anywhere. And it's a good quality piece of aluminium as well. So build quality is absolutely excellent on it. So I took it up Bowfell, which was a 10 hour day with was some fairly sort of standard conditions. They weren't too bad, but a good bit of hiking. So lots of jiggling around with the camera and what generally would have been a problem and was a problem with the capture clip I got the M1 Mark 1 sat on. Um, it didn't miss a beat. The only thing I found was because it was brand new, actually slipping it in was a little bit on the tight side. So push it down a little bit. By the end of the day, once the camera been in and out a few times, that wasn't a problem, so it lit just slots straight in. It's positive, but not over tight, and it doesn't really cause a problem as far as sort of having any sort of issues with it sort of popping back out again either. Um, so definitely security, 10 out of 10, really impressed with it. And it's that sort of thing where occasionally you sort of with the old, uh, old sort of peak design style, I'll drop it in and you think, yep, that's in, you've checked it. And it's all too easy to sort of just very, very slightly knock the release and that's enough to actually let it go. Um, so it was always a bit of a problem and I never really had, always had that niggling doubt that I was gonna knock it and lose the camera at some point. Um, it's not something I've actually thought about at all with the Beetle. Once it's in, it's in, it's locked in place. So definitely not been a problem at all. When it comes down to the base, obviously it's Arca Swiss compatible. Same as the uh, the regular bases that you get from sort of the Peak Design style of things. Uh, so yeah, fits on the tripod's fine. It seems very lightweight, very, very strong. Everything you get in the kit, you get to actually attach as well. So it's not a problem. But what I'll do now, I'll tell Go back, do a quick unboxing video for you, and uh, so you can sort of see what uh, what you get in the package, and sort of what sort of, sort of stuff you get for your money. So here we go. This is what we've got. Fairly unassuming box. Um, nothing too special. Nothing to. Why I'm about really. Looks like it's bought from Amazon and really there's not sort of anything sort of too snazzy about the packaging. Um, so basically get inside. Um, essentially what you've got a little tab to undo here if I can. There we go. Once that's opened we have inside there plastic inner with it in there but there's also a little extra bit get a little sticker if you uh, particularly fancy using the sticker and a little bit of an instruction booklet on how to use it as it comes with an allen key as well now we've all probably got these around from various different sort of camera accessories but it's nice that it's actually put that in there um, quite nice to see uh, but what we've got actually in there is that just a clip unit itself uh, with a little sort of warning thing on there about sort of make sure you've got the clasp done up properly and as you can see on there press the button to release the uh, that sort of clip itself now it's really lightweight but really strong and it's nice that they actually ship it with a uh, a little cap on there as well so there's no chance of it sort of rattling around and scratching anything in transit which is quite nice okay so here's the main unit itself uh, as you can see, sort of, that's the latch. As you press the button in, latch moves, which lets you release the catch, which is attached to your, your camera. And the lock mechanism is really quite secure. Basically, sort of, you flip that over, and you can't press that in at all. And it's not something you can accidentally knock, because it's it's almost on a bit of a a detent. Uh, so it takes a little bit of, sort of shifting to actually push it back in, which is ideal. Um, so that really isn't a problem at all. Looks like just take the, uh, the warning label off. Um, I'll show you how the, uh, the actual sort of latching system works on it. Um, you can see it sort of separates out 
and you've got on this end sort of a two level adjustment on the other end sort of a three level so it caters for most sizes of uh, of belt or strap whatever and literally sort of if you sort of drop that into place you can sort of pull that across that just latches over onto there and you sort of flip that into place if you can actually get to do it it's actually slightly easier when you've got it actually on something that uh, gives a bit of resistance like a strap uh, but if you sort of pull that in that latches into place and you sort of lock down and that'll hold it nicely nice and solid uh, not going to go anywhere um, the actual sort of material itself I thought was all aluminium but I think the back of it is actually high strength plastic uh, but it seems really really strong um, so you've got these rubberized grips as well in each of the uh, the sides of the clam as well so it's, put it on it's not going to go anywhere at all and to be fair the latch mechanism seems really really strong and it's like I've had no problem at all. I've been sort of looked like at. I walked up both L with it. Um, never caused me a problem. Didn't knock anything. It didn't sort of release accidentally. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant piece of kit. On the plate that's on the bottom of your camera, rather than having a slot on there, it just comes with the Allen key attachment. Um, now I've had a problem before where sort of you got the slot on there, and you get a coin or something in there and as you actually tighten it, it can actually sort of leave a sharp edge um, which I don't really like having because it's a bit scratchy on bits and bobs with the Allen key obviously it fits in nice and tight and you don't get that sort of roughness to it at all so it's always in the right sort of place and you can get it reasonably tight as well without overdoing it um, which is quite handy because you can sort of overdo things a little bit uh, sometimes with you know if you've got a screwdriver or something and if you're not got it right you can sort of be a little bit loose uh, but you can say you've got this nice rubberized section on top of the uh, the catch as well uh, so that gives you a good bit of grip and there's a little bit of movement as well so if you've got a camera that the tripod hole isn't quite perfectly sort of in the spot that you know, sort of make it handy for the catch, you can sort of get a bit of movement on it as well, uh, which is really quite handy. Uh, but all in all, yeah, great little design. So there you go. Hopefully that's been useful for you. Let's say nothing been paid for by sort of PGY Tech at all. Move the hood out of the way; it's blowing everywhere. Um, but I just thought I'd do a quick review on it because I'm that impressed with it. Um, for me, it's made things a lot easier and definitely it's a world apart from sort of using the uh, the old ones that i was using so yeah if you're interested in sort of getting the capture clip system highly recommend it but if you like the video please do give us a big thumbs up and if not subscribed please do hit that subscribe button helps the channel out no end um, but for now from incredibly windy and very showery and as you can see rather a grim outlook welcome to british summertime thanks for watching I'll see you again next time. Take care.